So, well, I got two questions for you. One, did you see The Real Housewives last night? Uh, no, I was watching Dallas. Oh, well, then number two, what do you think about all these tech tools that are saturating the educational environment right now? You know, it's fascinating. We've got a new teacher named Kelly. Get out! Yes! What? She takes me back to when I was in the classroom, teaches a me what these... A long time ago. Uh, could have been. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Teaches me how to use these AI tools and things that I could or couldn't do, should or shouldn't do with them. Oh. It's really fascinating. Here's Kelly. Hello, today we'll be going over Knowledge AI, which is an AI website that teachers can use to create e-learning content for students to complete online. So on Knowledge AI, you go over here to create, and then you can set, you can add a learning title, and today I'm going to be doing something about the solar system. So that's all I'll put in, and then I'll select English. And then you can upload a file. Um, so if you have a PowerPoint or a PDF or something, you could also um, insert a URL or you could paste in some text. Today I'm going to copy and paste this YouTube URL. And then I'm going to say that the rating level should be similar to the source. And then I will have it create this micro teaching source. This process does take about like three to five minutes. So the first step that it completed was transcribing. Then you can go in and edit it if you would like. I'm going to continue and then it's going to analyze the document and just look for um, some common key terms that it was using so it can define it for the students. And then the third step is generating. So now it is just generating the content for the students. And now it is ready. So you can kind of just go through and look over what the kids will see. So here's the video and the transcription. And there's some key terms and it defines all of them. Now there are some flashcards to help with the key terms and then some true or false questions and multiple choice questions, some fill in the blanks, a wide variety of question types, some more fill in the blanks, more flashcards, and then a summary. Okay. This is great for students who might not learn best by simply watching a video. Absolutely. I love the opportunity to provide a translation for students who need that extra support where the video just isn't enough for them. And you can transcribe reading levels up and down also. Oh, that's awesome.